Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am having a quick look at Glide. What on earth is Glide? Well, it tells us in the About section, Glide, a diffusion-based text conditional image synthesis model. Now with example files for local running because this is my fork of it. So let's go and have a look at the paper. They've got a link there to the paper. So I click on that, go to the PDF, and we can see here all sorts of things. Great, there they've got an introduction images such as illustrations, paintings, and photographs, can often be easily described using text, but can require specialized skills and hours of labor to create. Mm. Therefore, a tool capable of generating realistic images from natural language can empower humans like us, even nerdy rodents, to create rich and diverse visual content with unprecedented ease. That's right, you type in a bit of text and it gives you a picture. So there we go, a hedgehog using a calculator, Corgi wearing a red bow tie and a purple party hat. Hmm, yes, now I think these are all from their from their big model, from their big model, and they've only given us a little model to play with, so never mind. You won't quite get these results. I've tried and my results aren't anywhere near as good as any of those, but you can do all sorts of things. Like you can also do in painting here. So you can select a region of the image there and put zebras in it. There you go. It, it's that picture, but it's got zebras. Or you can you can change the the dog there to a corgi. There you go. She's she's now hugging a corgi. Or a man with red hair. You change the hair bit to red. There. Fast. It, you know. There's, there's so much fun that you can have there, isn't it? Look, you can get rid of tables, you can add tables, you can put a vase on the table, add hats to dogs. You, you could probably add hats to cats as well. Imagine the fun you can have without putting sunglasses on things. Right, anyway, there you go. So there's, there's, there's the paper. You can read that, you can have a look at the examples, you can see all the different things about diffusion models and look at lots of nice graphs and, and, and yeah. So there you go, there's the paper, there's the paper. Now, there are some caveats, so we'll have a look at this model card over here so data sets um the the data set that they had in there um was not this one this is a filtered one uh this is 67 million text image pairs so it's still absolutely massive um and uh yeah yeah it's it's got a few things missing so um intended use we, we release these models to help advance research in generative modeling due to the limitations and biases of glide uh, we do not currently recommend it for commercial use which is fair enough but it does still generate nice images which you can use for other things you could use it as a base image for something so yeah that's what i've been using this as well as uh, are you darling for creating base images um for pytty and vqgan and all those other things to create completely new um, works of art but uh, yes this this has got some some restrictions um, you can't generate faces uh, portraits of people so there's no there's no people in here um, they they've uh, they're also noting here some biases so uh, it produces different outputs when asked to generate toys for boys and girls uh, it gravitates towards generating churches been asked for a religious place and all sorts of things in there so there are some biases there are some limitations uh things like that so be be aware that you may not necessarily get um exactly what you want <laughs> when you ask for it in text format but never mind so here we go let's let's have a look at installing and running this locally shall we as i always do pip install minus e for the speedy ones right okay so here we go requirements you will need of course an nvidia gpu with its drivers and the cuda toolkit and i am using anaconda you could use any Anacon anaconda or mini conda either of those two will do for all of these so you will of course need to first create a new anaconda virtual environment for your little python there conda create minus minus name i called it glide because i am perfect at names and i'm using python 3.9 Obviously, once you've created your environment, you can activate it like I have down here. There it is. It says Glide down there. That, that is my Glide environment. So once uh, once you've done that, you will actually need to completely ignore uh, what it says on the screen over here and not do pip install minus E just yet because you want to install PyTorch first. Yes, uh, otherwise it doesn't give you the proper GPU version or at least it didn't with me. Anyway, there you go. You can pip install Torch. Um, if you want to go over to the Torch website and get the thing, that's fine. Links down in the description for all of this anyway. But yes, install PyTorch first, uh, and then you can do pip install minus E, and that will install the rest of it. Now, the main changes I've made in my fork is these are all Colab notebooks. Of course, you can still click on those and go to the original notebooks, but I've, I've added them as 
those little Python files there. So you've got text to image, in paint, and clip guided. So then, then you can just run them locally, which makes everything ever so much easier, doesn't it? Doesn't it make things easy? Right, there you go. So you can Python text to image. So if you go over here and we have a look at this, let's crack this open, see what's going on here. Now I've, I've moved the sampling parameters up the top. So pretty much all you need to change is the prompt, the batch size, the guidance scale, and the up sample temp. Now for the most part, you can just leave those alone and just change the, the prompt and the batch size. That's fine, just change those two. So, so there it is. There's the text to image. Let's run it, shall we? Let's run it, okay. Here we go, Python, text to image.py. It, it's running. Now, as you can see here, the prompt is a nerdy rodent. That's me. It's going to create me. What do I look like to an AI? How, how will it create a nerdy rodent? Will it know what's going on? We'll have a quick look at this while it's, uh, while it's doing its thing. So as you can see there, it checks to see if you've got a CPU or GPU. If you've got a GPU, then that's fine. Everything's brilliant. You can use floating point 16 as you've got time uh, step respacing there. So if you really want, you can change that. Uh, 100 is what the default is and it runs quite quickly on that but if you want to change it to 200 or 250 or a thousand then that's fine it's it, it's uh you know the time step respacing if you're used to uh, the diffusion models before that's fine uh and also down here that will do some basically some 64 by 64 images so it does them quite small to start with it does a little sample and then it up samples it so it goes oh okay i've got all these 64 by 64 images and i'm going to make them into 256 by 256 images and then i save them so it's a little bit different to the notebook the notebook doesn't actually save the images it just shows them uh, and this also um, saves them one by one as well so rather than just getting a strip of images you'll get the individual images appear so let's have a look at them there they are so if you're just using the notebook that's what you'll get you'll get the strip there you go three rather nerdy looking rodents i quite like him he's good isn't he yeah that's that's my expression now uh but my change is you also get the individual images as well so there you go you get them separately um no you can't make it uh different sizes um it's 64 by 64 or 256 by 256 upscaled um that's that's it <laughs> Uh, but you can, of course, use another upscaler. Um, you know, if you want to use Waifu 2X or whatever to upscale that to uh, 8K, be my guest. Be my guest. So there you go. There is the basic one. The basic one. Now, the next one you got here is the in painting. Yes, the in painting. Let's close that one down. So here is inpaint.py, exactly the same as this, but again, doesn't display them. It saves them uh, and it saves them individually as well. So the in painting one is much the same thing apart from it's got this little thing in here. So if we have a look at this grass.png. So there you go. So that's the, the PNG it comes with. It's a it's a picture of some grass. There you go. It does exactly what it says on the tin. And uh, and up here we've got the prompt here as well. A nerdy rodent in a field. So what what do you reckon this one's going to do? What do you reckon? Well, let's let's do it, shall we? Python in paint.py. There we go. It's running through exactly the same as the other thing. Basically, apart from this time, it's also reading in this image and then you can apply some masks to it. You just zero out those. So that's a little uh, sort of rectangular mask from the top down, uh, 20 pixels down, or you can do non rectangular masks. You know, you can put multiple source masks in there, have a mask, whatever shape you like, um, like you saw it in the paper there. And uh, that'll do basically exactly the same thing as the other one. It'll create the 64 by 64 size images, upscale them and then save out the samples. So let's go and have a look at those. So here's our new nerdy rodent in the field. So there's the strip. If we have a look at the individual ones, there there he is. As you can see, the, the top bit is the same all, all the time. So it's sort of different from there downwards. And we've got all sorts of different rodents in fields. Yeah, that's the original one again. There you go. Oh, yeah. And what's, what's the last one? What's the last one? This is the clip guided one, a filtered noise aware clip model to produce images conditioned on text prompts. So very much like the first one, uh, apart from just using a, a clip approach to things instead. So let's have a look at that one, clip guided, crack that one open. There you go, a nerdy rodent. Let's let's have a go at this. Python, clip guided. Again, same thing, nerdy rodent, batch size six this time. You know, you just change those things. Again, goes through, does exactly the same thing, apart from this time. It's, it's got a clip model in there as well instead. Uh, yep, 64 by 64, then saves images. There you go. There you go. So really, you just need to change the bits at the top. 
and that is it. So let's have a look at these. It's it's uh, it's doing its thing. It's doing the little upscaling, and we should get our our clip guided nerdy rodents, which will look slightly different from the original ones. There you go. So there's so there's, there's the clip guided version. Let's have a comparison to the original. There you go. So there's a non clip guided, and there's the the clip guided. Yeah, that that one looks. That one is not nerdy. That one is shocked beyond all sort of villain. And that one's just being a bit rude, isn't he? Sticking his tongue out. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. Glide. It, it's a bit like clip guided diffusion, but it's it's not. It's still fun though. Anyway, go and have a play. Rodent out for now. <laughs>